Good morning, Eisenhower Eagles. Today is Wednesday, November 16th. It's cycle day three, so you're going to have music today. Let's go ahead and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, boys and girls, you can be seated today. It's Wednesday. That means it's pizza day, right? No, this is chicken nugget Wednesday. Chicken nuggets with a dinner roll is your option A for lunch. There's also the grilled cheese and tomato soup. Mm, that's a good one for the cold weather. Grilled cheese and tomato soup is your B option. Or you can have a beef fiesta salad for your C option. How do you choose? I don't know. It's a tough one. Your sides are corn and banana. And then also the salad bar option. Lunch for tomorrow. Your A option is the Thanksgiving holiday lunch. Let's remember that, teachers. Thanksgiving holiday lunch, which is turkey and gravy and a dinner roll. And you also have an option of a cheeseburger. So two options tomorrow. Thanksgiving holiday lunch with turkey and gravy and a dinner roll or the cheeseburger. Your sides are with potatoes, cranberries, cinnamon, apples, and a pumpkin bar. All right. All right. November 16th. We finally have a birthday to announce today. And guess what? It's not a student. It is a staff member. Miss Pell. Happy birthday. Boys and girls, when you see Miss Pell, our student teacher in kindergarten, make sure you tell her happy birthday. It's finally a birthday, and we only have four more the rest of the month. So, yes. So, happy birthday, Miss Pell. Everybody, when you see Miss Pell, tell her, tell her happy birthday. All right. Let's see. Any other special announcements? Boys and girls, let's just remember to keep continuing to check the lost and found for items. We might be getting a lunch box. And now that the cold weather is coming, you're changing clothes, you're changing items. Um, we're gonna get some tennis shoes. We're gonna get some boots that are put over there. Um, you need to be checking if you cannot find them at home, there's a good chance you left them at school or in the car if you're like some of my kids, okay? So make sure you're checking the lost and found. We don't want you guys to waste your clothes, waste your parents money and just uh, keep checking to make sure that nothing of yours is there. I also want to remind students the hallways. Now we have a lot more coats. We have bigger coats to hang on the coat hooks. Let's remember to put the book bag on first, take out what you need and then put the coat over the top. That way the coat can wrap around it and it'll stay on the hook. As I'm walking through the halls, I'm starting to see some coats laying on the floor. I'm seeing some gloves and mittens and hats laying on the floor. Let's make sure that we put the coats on, on the hook. If you have spare shoes and boots, put them up on that little shelf. If you have, um, if there's not room on the shelf, ask your teacher if you can keep them by your desk or under your desk. But we want to keep the hallways clear. We do not want to find coats and shirts and <clears throat> shoes and socks and mittens and stuff on the floor in the hallways because it becomes a tripping hazard and somebody can trip and fall if they're um, trying to move through the hallways. And we do not want that to happen. Okay. Also, let's just remember our voice levels for indoor, outdoor recess, lunchroom, hallways, classroom. Okay. Remember, level zero, if your teacher says level zero, no talking. Level one is a whisper. Okay, if you're working in groups and stuff, you might be able to do a whisper. They might even let you do a partner talk. Okay, but if you're working with two people, level two is okay to talk. Teacher voice is level three. That's so the whole class can hear. And level four is outside. That means you're outside. That's where you can shout and yell. All right, boys and girls, also the equipment outside is starting to get a little bit colder. Let's make sure we're wearing the right sort of clothing outside. If you're going to be wearing gloves and mittens to touch the metal bars on the playground, that might be a good idea. Also, 
shorts are probably not a good idea for the remainder of the year um, until we get into spring. I don't see a lot of forecasted weather over 40 degrees coming up. So shorts are probably not your best bet outside. We want to make sure we're dressed in appropriately so we can stay healthy and avoid being sick. We're starting to see a lot more students getting ill lately. Uh, we want part of that. You just want to make sure that you're dressing correctly. So t-shirts and shorts are probably not your best bet because we will still be going outside if the temperature is above 15 for the feels like temperature. Okay. All right, boys and girls, that's all I have for today. I hope everybody has a great day. We're going to see everybody in the hallways and classroom, outside, lunchroom, all over the place. Remember, to be an Eisenhower Eagle, you need to work hard. And then you can be kind. You have to be kind. Then you can soar like an eagle. We'll see you later. Bye.